Hi, this is Kate Marie Lewis, the artist behind The Art of Flying, and welcome to this week's blog post. Um, so this week will be a slight departure from the norm in that I will be showing a couple of landscape paintings that I've done with my brand new watercolour paints. The reason why I did a couple of um, landscapes, of seascapes in particular, is that my grandpa very kindly gifted me some absolutely beautiful watercolours for my birthday. So the set that I was given was the Schminke Horadam Aquarelle 24 pan watercolour set. Um, I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So as you can see, each pan comes individually wrapped. So it is a little bit of a pain having to unwrap each individual one. But what I really like is that there's heaps of information about each of the individual colours, both within the packaging and also on the little wrappers. And if you want more information, I'm sure that you can look up each of the individual colours. The set also comes with this handy dandy little colour chart, which you can watch me filling in if you want to see how all of the different colours in the set come out. Um, so there are instructions on the colour chart on how to fill it out, but I actually filled it out more um, loosely than was um, recommended just because that's how I paint. So I wanted the references in this colour chart to really reflect, reflect the way that I will be using the set. So as you can see, I'm not exactly an expert watercolourist by any stretch of the imagination but I do really enjoy using watercolour in quite a loose way. So I wanted to see how each colour flowed and how opaque each colour was. So I filled out each of the colours in order. Um, first with a block of colour and then the second layer of paint I put on once the first layer was dry. It was just on one half to see how extra layering would work for each of the colours. Um, because I do tend to use a lot of layers in my watercolour painting. I also tend to be quite a heavy handed watercolourist, um, which I know that a lot of other people are much more delicate with their watercolours than I am. I tend to go for quite intense colours. Um, yeah, so I can totally understand if the way that I'm doing it is not the way that you would do it. So the reason I chose to paint two seascapes with my new watercolour set was because they were a gift from my grandpa and he really enjoys seascapes. So the two paintings that I did were a little bit outside of my comfort zone, um, but it's always fun to try new things. Um, and I wanted to create something that he would enjoy as a thank you for such a wonderful birthday gift. I found the watercolour set lovely and bright. I really like the colours in the set. I haven't used a lot of different kinds of watercolours like some watercolour artists have. However, I would recommend these this set for anyone who is looking for something quite complete and of a high quality. I think the colours go on beautifully. Um, yeah, so I would thoroughly recommend them. To anyone looking for somewhere to get started with a higher level of watercolour paint than your cheap sets. These paints also have a great reputation for colour and light fastness and also you can see how colour and light fast each individual pan is by looking at the details available for it. So in terms of my overall reactions to this set. I love the variety of colours. There seems to be quite a lot of jewel tones in this set, um, which suits me perfectly because those are the tones that I really love to use for my unnaturally toned figurative work. Um, I especially love the variety of blues. Um, the blues are so appealing to me in this set. Um, but if you are someone who likes painting landscapes or um, botanicals, this one might not be quite as good for you because 
the browns and greens are not quite as extensive. But for me, this set is absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, so would highly recommend. If you'd like to see any more of my artwork or follow along other videos like this, please subscribe to any of my social channels or to my mailing list or check out my website. The links are all in the description of this video. Thanks. Bye.